Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with relations and functions, uh, we're going to deal with, or we're going to try to define uh, the concept of anti-symmetry, or in, in particular, what is an anti-symmetric relation? And the way I've started these videos is, uh, up to this particular stage, is I've defined what a relation is. So maybe give it, let's give that definition again, okay? So the definition is... And we're, we're simplifying it here a little bit. A relation, a relation is simply, is simply a subset, okay, a subset of a cross product. Okay, that's all it is, is a subset of a cross product, and that's our definition. So, for example, if we let the set A equal to values uh, 1, 3, and 7, as an example, and if we construct a cross product, let's just construct a table here, a with a, 1, 3, 7, 1, 3, 7, and let's construct the ordered pairs. This 1 with the 1, 1 is related to 1, 1 is related to 3, 1 is related to 7, 3 is related to 1, 3 is related to 3, 3 is related to 7, 7 is related to 1, 7 is related to 3, and 7 is related to 7. There's a set of ordered pairs. If I take all of those and if I throw them inside a set, I get the set which is a cross a the cross product of a with a so it's a set and in this case it's a set with nine ordered pairs okay and what we can do is we can choose ordered pairs from that particular set okay let's choose a set of ordered pairs and uh, let's say the first set that we choose is let's say one three let's say we choose three uh, let's say we choose choose three seven and let's say we choose a uh, seven one for example well we call this or one Okay, let's do another one. Let's say R2 is, let's say we choose uh, 1, 7. Let's say 3, 3. Okay, let's say uh, we choose, dun, 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 dun. let's say we choose uh, dun, 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 7, 3. Okay, okay. Uh, and let's say R3 that we choose, let's say we choose uh, 3, 1. Uh, we choose 1, 3. And let's say we choose, let's say we choose one seven as an example. See, this is uh, relations. These are all relations because they're all sets that are subsets of this cross product here. Okay, and we're interested in this video in defining the concept of anti-symmetry. So we need a definition. So we need a definition. Okay? And like all of our definitions up to this particular stage, uh, to to, to test whether a relation is anti-symmetric, we have to have a relation in our hands in the first place. So let's let's use our definition based uh, from that particular perspective. So let's say, given a relation, okay, or on a set A, because the relation has to be a subset of a cross product from some set, okay, we say, we say that or is anti symmetric okay okay if and only if okay okay for all a b that are in or where a is not equal to b okay we must have we must have that b a is not in or Okay. So what this relation, and first of all, this uh, where A is not equal to B. So it's saying that for all of the ordered pairs in R, for all the ordered pairs in the relation, and ignore the ones, ignore the ones where A is not equal to B. Okay, We're not interested in them, where A is not equal to B. Well then, for it to be anti-symmetric, the flips, the, the A, B flipped, where the A and the B are different, flipped, this flipped ordered pair cannot be in the relation. Okay, So let's have a look at an example. See? So here's a relation here, or one. Is this a relation anti-symmetric? Is it anti-symmetric by our definition? Well, to figure out whether it's anti-symmetric, we have to, for all of our ordered pairs in R, for each one of these things, uh, and we're only interested in the ones, the ordered pairs, where the A is not equal to B, we need to flip them over and to see whether this new ordered pair is in R or not. For it to be anti-symmetric, it cannot be, okay? It cannot be in there. So here's one tree. So let's have a look at the first one. When I flip it, I get 3, 1. Is 3, 1 in there? No, it's not. So that's okay. That's good. But this needs to be true for them all. Okay. What about 3, 7? When I flip it, I get 7, 3. 
Is is seven three in this relation? No, it's not, and it shouldn't be if it's anti-symmetric. But it needs to be true for them all. So let's take the final one, seven one. And when we flip it, we get one seven. And is one seven in here? No, it's not. Which it shouldn't be for it to be anti-symmetric. So what we can say in in the three possible ordered pairs cases, none of their their symmetric couples are in the relation. So hence, this relation here is anti-symmetric it is anti-symmetric okay. what about this relation here or two well we need to go through each thing individually there's three ordered pairs here but we're not interested in the ones we're only interested in the ordered pairs where the a is not equal to the b so actually we're not interested in this ordered pair we can ignore it so there's only two things to test in here so when we have a look at one seven when we flip it we get seven one is seven one in here no it's not well it shouldn't be if it's anti-symmetric, good. What about the last case, which is seven three? Three seven now we get. When we f when we flip it, we get three seven. Is three seven in here? No, it's not. Which it shouldn't be. So for the two possible cases, okay, the one seven and the tr and the seven three. When we flip them, none of their flips are in here. So hence, this relation is anti-symmetric. So this is also anti-symmetric. Okay, it is anti-symmetric. Okay, and let's try the last one here, which is. We're trying, uh, once again, there's three cases here, possible cases. None of the A's are equal to the B's, so there is three cases. And what we need to do is we need to take the first case. Uh, we flip it. What do we get? We get one three. Is one three in here? Yes, it is. Oh, it shouldn't be if it's anti-symmetric. So there's one reason why this, this is not anti-symmetric. What about one three? One three, when we flip it, we get three one. Oh, there it is there. And it shouldn't be there if it's anti-symmetric. So there's two reasons, yeah? And then one seven. Well, when we flip it, we get 7, 1, and 7, 1 ain't there. But we've already got two reasons, the first one and the second reason, yeah, why this is not anti-symmetric. So the third one relation here is not anti-symmetric. Okay. And guys, uh, I know these ones are tough, yeah? So the concept of, you know, we've got sort of three things here. We've got symmetric relations, asymmetric relations, and anti-symmetric relations. Uh, so guys, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video was in some way intuitive, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.